Food and life is such a beautiful thing, don't you think? <laughs> if you're like me and you're from Edmonton, you miss conduct days or the carnival or the circus because of the high cost entry fee. But you're stuck now and you just wanted carnival food, but you didn't want to pay the high cost carnival fee. This video is for you guys. I got you. So these are the two things I really crave at carnivals. Corn dog and funnel cakes. Let me show you how to make it. <laughs> our cornmeal batter for our corn dog. So one cup of flour, one cup of cornmeal, Three tablespoons of that good old creatine, guys. You gotta get creatine monohydrate because that's good stuff. <laughs> One teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder. We'll give this a mix. Wet ingredients. One cup of milk. One egg. There it is, guys. Your cornmeal for your corn dog batter complete. Funnel cake. What funnel cake batter is, it's just pancake mix, guys. So two cups of flour, half a cup of that good old creatine. Two and a half tablespoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. Combine that. Two cups of milk. Tablespoon of vanilla extract. And last but not least, two eggs. Give that a mix. Not sure if this will work, but I couldn't find any ketchup bottles or any bottles besides these mini ones. So, I'm gonna take my batter fill it up. Got the caps on. Let's go for a test run. Yeah. Not too sure. We'll see. Alright, that did not work too well. <laughs> they just made little pieces of funnel cake. Round two. Let's see if this works. And I put it in a water bottle. So if it does not come out right, you know what? It still tastes good in the end. I promise you. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna squeeze it. This is hard. <laughs> I think I got it, guys. It's time to flip it, guys, without breaking it. Please don't break. Nice. Two minutes up. I'll drain this as much as I can. Let's pop this out. All right, corn dog time. I'm gonna show you how to get the perfect oil for a corn dog. I have this heat on max for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm gonna drop it down to medium. I'm gonna wait five minutes. After five minutes, I'm gonna take one of these chicken hot dogs here. I'm gonna dunk it into this corn meal here or a corn batter. I'm gonna coat it really good, guys. We don't need a stick. I'll show you how to do it, guys. So once you got that nice and coated, shake off any excess. We're gonna take this dunk cornmeal dog, put it into the oil for two seconds, guys. One, two, after two seconds, everybody in the pool or the dog in the pool. So what that two second hole was gonna do, guys, is gonna build this nice form around the crust of the dog here. So I just wanna push it around so it doesn't only cook on one side. I'm just gonna hold it there. So you want this batter to cook and you want the hot dog to heat up and you don't want the outside to burn. Just like that. Your perfect corn dog without a stick, complete. So here it is again guys, hot dog, Cornmeal. Shake off the axis. Hold it in for two seconds. One, two, get in the pool. It looks like this hot dog can swim. <laughs> Ow. Be careful, guys. That right there, guys, was just a drop of water into this hot wall here. Hot oil and water does not mix, guys, so please be careful. Pop them out. Time to set this up, guys. So, we got our crispy funnel cake, powder sugar. We got blueberry jam or blueberry pie filling.
with puffing the bag. Powder sugar. Good old corn dog. There it is, guys. My two favorite carnival food complete. Let's get into this. Let's get into this, guys. My corn dog has sogged up, <laughs> but still all good. Here, I do this. Don't goof. You gotta have mustard on your corn dog. Guys, take the first bite of this. Your corn dog has got it. Nice. Mmm. -hmm. Just perfect. <laughs> I say you don't even need a stick. Just pick it up and eat it. Mmm. Try this. Corn dog with some powdered sugar on it. Nice guy. Nice. <laughs> it works. Mmm, 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 mmm. Who needs to go to the carnival, guys? Make this at home. Alright. I'm not gonna eat this all, guys. I'm just gonna have one hot dog or one corn dog. And maybe a quarter of this. And I will have to save it for all, guys. It would be nice to eat it all, but guys, come on. This is a lot of grease. <laughs> a lot of grease and a lot of goodness. Take the first bite of this. A piece of the funnel cake with the blueberry and uh, what's that stuff called? Whipped cream on top. Yes, got it. Guys, again. <laughs> Quick time. Soul bombs. I say you can't go wrong with fried pancake dough with whipped cream and blueberry jam or blueberry pie filling on top. Mmm. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Mm. This is hard to put down though. <sighs> Just a bit more. Mm-hmm. Alright, last bite. Mm. <laughs> so greasy and good, but this is all I can have for you guys. Mmm. So bombs. So this is what I'm gonna do with this, guys. Freeze this. Freeze this. Eat it throughout the week. And that's how it's done, guys. <laughs> Food and life is such a beautiful thing, don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your Food and Life's a beautiful thing shirts or a nice one. Like, share. Peace out. <laughs>